We were unable to save ourselves. That's right. There's not a thing in the world. You can't go to church enough. You can't go. You can't tithe enough. You can't you burn know. enough oxen, yeah. and you can't do anything to bring yourself your own salvation. Mm. That took the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Period. So we were totally dependent on Jesus to accomplish to bring us back into a right state with God the Father. That was God meeting that need in our lives. Mm -hmm. We were dependent on him and he met that need, right? Well, you know what? He'll meet all of our needs. Isn't that the promise? promise? Yes. And my guide will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19. So we are dependent on riches. We're dependent on God's riches and we are dependent on his grace and love that he has promised to meet all of our needs. So, this, being poor in spirit, is not so much about what you have as it is about being, being about what you consider to be your own. All right? And understanding the source of what we have. I did a teaching uh, quite a number of years ago called Ownership, Stewardship, and Possession. Okay? Whatever it is. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, why? It's not yours. Whatever it is, it's not yours. Because it says in Psalms 24, 1, The earth is the Lord's and all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. It all belongs to God. When the, when the Lord created the earth, he gave man stewardship. He gave him dominion, stewardship, and gave him possession. But he never gave him ownership. The earth is the Lord's. It's still his. It all belongs to the Lord our God. Even you don't belong to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, this is where it, we have to understand this, okay? Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own, for you have been bought with a price? That's right. Are you responsible for it? Of course. That's stewardship. You have, do you have possession? Of course you have possession of it. You're, you know, you're, you're walking around in it. But it belongs to God. Being poor in spirit is first and foremost about establishing the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Amen. In our hearts. Mm. You know, you, you, can, you can quote the scriptures and sing the song. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. But if he made it, he owns it. He is only entrusting you with this day. And you are responsible for it, but he owns it. And you're responsible to him for it, because it still belongs to him. He's allowing you to use it. He's, yes, he's allowing you to use this day. In order for this teaching, the Sermon on the Mount, to make sense, we need to understand that Jesus is Lord of all. Yes. Lord of all. all. Our money, our families, our time, our jobs, all. He is Lord of all of it. We've been conditioned to hear the words poor, the word poor, poor in spirit, right? Mm -hmm. or, or rich. And we immediately think of and focus on money. Absolutely. You can be poor in anything. That's right. When Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit, it's because we recognize that we don't possess, we don't own anything. Okay? But he has entrusted us with all good things. It's not even our own love. It's, it's, it's not. God's it's the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Everything that we have that is good came from God. And to God be the glory.
มา